Hey everybody, this is Frank Cox, SmokerBuilder.com. Uh, I'm really excited to bring yet another product to you here that uh, we're introducing here probably oh, later this week because these are ready to ship. So uh, anyway, uh, the website that you need to go to before we get started is BBQSmokerSupply.com. That's BBQSmokerSupply.com. Uh, myself and my partner Tom, we've been manufacturing parts for, for Justin now for a while. And uh, we're, we're kind of bringing the bar up another level. We're bringing you some really quality products, uh, anything from dampers to cooking grates to you name it, we're making it all. So anyway, this particular product we're introducing right now, I just got these in. Uh, it's a slide damper for you to weld or bolt to the side of your stick burner. So, you know, everybody, you know, you can get pinwheels. Matter of fact, those are coming out in two weeks. Um, you can get pinwheel dampers from us and stuff like this but on our plans most of the time we spec out a slide damper and uh, you know we show you how to build it yourself um, I get a lot of calls from people that just don't want to build it they wish they could just buy it so here it is um, we're gonna do four different sizes uh, you just match the size up to uh, greater than the quantity of uh, combustion air you need for your firebox for your air inlet opening uh, so if you need a 2x8 we got a 2x8 right here 2x10 uh, 3 by 12, 2 by 12, 3 by 10. So anyway, it consists of two parts. You get this slide damper and you get, or the bracket assembly, and then you get the slide damper itself. There's a quarter inch hole uh, cut into it. And the way that you put this in there, the blade sits inside of here. Both sides of this are open so that when the blade slides through, it cleans out the, the trough for, uh, you know, ash and stuff like that that would fall back inside of here. Um, anyway, uh, we leave you a little bit of clearance up here. That way you can, if the blade's, you know, sticking out one way or the other, you can kind of wiggle it and move it around and get some of that, you know, debris that would be lodged in there, rust or whatever, since you haven't used your pit for a while or something. Uh, wiggle that around, slide it back and forth. The, the hole sticks through on the front leading edge side here. I can hold that in there so that you can put a, a bolt in there if you want to put a bolt all the way through to the into the throat opening or the air inlet opening to keep this from falling out um, but you would just put that bolt in there or a piece of quarter inch round bar and then this slides in that opening and then it'll stop it right here and you'll still have a big enough opening this is size big enough to where when this hits you've still got your full throat opening or full air inlet opening and it protrudes out that way you can completely clean off that trough so uh, anyway these are really these are really really cool dampers we went ahead and went the extra mile and put some bolt holes in here some of these guys like to use these on their brick pits or stone pits whichever way you want to go some people can't weld and just want to bolt it on so there you go um, anyway uh, the way to install this might as well cover that in the same video when you get this damper assembly pull this slide out the guide here and you just take this and push it right up against the side of the firebox, trace this opening, or if you wanted to, if you've got a plasma cutter with a with a, a drag guide in it, you can just put that right in here and just follow this line all the way around with your plasma cutter, or take this off and use a straight edge to guide it and cut it out that way. Once you're done with that, just flip this back over and stick it right on the side. After that's on there, you can slide this damper blade in place and insert your bolt or a piece of round bar or whatever you want to use on that and uh, you're good to go if you put a bolt good thing about putting a bolt in here is you can pull it back out if you need to so and then remove the blade to stick it in there and flat disc it down or something we left just enough clearance on the back side you probably can't see it just enough clearance on the back side there to prevent this blade from expanding and squeezing in against the side of the fire so anyway, there you go. Go to barbecuesmokersupply.com, buy dampers, buy whatever you need. Uh, Justin's a good dude and he sells it and moves it quick. Thanks a lot.